Okay, so once we have our servers up and running, it's logical that the next step would be to create mailboxes. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this. You can create a mailbox for an existing user, that is a user that already exists in Active Directory, or you can create a mailbox and a new user at the same time. So in this lesson, let's create a mailbox for an existing user. So if we open up our Active Directory users and computers through administrative tools, we see here that we have a user, user1, and this is the individual that we're going to create a mailbox for. So if we just close this out, and we have recipient configuration selected, if we select new mailbox, the new mailbox wizard opens, and you can see that we can select a mailbox type. We have user mailbox, room and equipment mailbox, these are resource mailboxes, we'll discuss these at a later time, and we have linked mailbox. So we're going to leave it as user mailbox, we'll click next, and then it asks us, do we want to create a mailbox for a new user or for existing users? In this case, we're going to choose existing users, we click add, and there's the user. So we say OK, we click next, and we're asked a bunch of mailbox settings that we can configure for the user. For example, right now the alias is user1 we can change that. We're also asked what database we want to put this user in. We have a couple of different ones, so we'll click Browse. Here we have Mailbox Database from the first storage group, or we have the Mailbox Database 2 from the second storage group. Let's leave it in the second one, and we'll click OK. Then we're asked if we want to use a Managed Folder Mailbox Policy at this time, or an Exchange Active Sync Mailbox Policy. At this time we're going to ignore these settings, and we'll just click Next we're shown a configuration summary of what we've chosen so far. If everything's correct, we'll click New. And we see that it's completed. We click Finish. And now we see that we have another mailbox right here on our server. So we hope you found that informative, and we'll see you in the next lesson.